welcome friends in the previous lecture we have explored the idea of deducing the transfer functions for single input single output system as well as multi input multi output system going further we will explore today the situation when we have a very complicated system with several subsystems connected together in a in an integrate way and we want to find out the exact transfer relationship between the input and output in the s domain so to simplify such a situation we have several approaches and two commonly used methods are number 1 the block diagram reduction technique and number 2 the signal flow graph and mesen scan formula so we will learn both these techniques one by one and eventually judge which technique will be preferred in our case so let us start with the conception of block diagram reduction technique so block diagram reduction technique is quite straightforward and you can see that there are several basic ideas and basic techniques which combine together to work out a big complex system to settle it into a uh, resolve it into a simpler form so that we can express the transfer function relationship between the input and output so the bigger and complicated connection of the branches of a big system can be represented by equivalent simplified connections so we take the situation where we have the original diagram original diagram and an equivalent simplified diagram so we will compare the situations in both the columns so suppose we have the original diagram as a signal x1 entering a summing point where x2 is entering with negative signal this is plus so the combined signal should be x1 minus x2 and again the next node we have two signals entering that is the x4 and x3 x3 is entering with negative sign and x4 is entering with positive sign so eventually we are having x1 So here also we have positive sign for x1 minus x2 minus x3 plus x4. So an equivalent diagram for this can be like this. We have the signal x1, which is having a positive sign. Then because x2 and x3 both are having negative sign we combine together make it x2 plus x3 and this together forms x1 minus x2 plus x3 sorry minus x3 then that is added to x4 x4 so it forms x1 minus x2 minus x3 plus x4 both the diagrams are equivalent so next diagram is suppose we have 
G1 and the signal X is entering G1 and after G1 the signal formed is G1X so this is summed with another signal which is passed through G2 but the input is same as X so these together are added at the summing block and we get G1X plus G2X so the equivalent should be we have G1 plus G2 so the signal X is entering the block with G1 G2 and the result is definitely G1X plus G2X We try the other blocks. So the next situation should be X one is entering. So I have the signal X entering the block G1 so the output is definitely G1X and this is again entering the block G2 block G2 so this is definitely G2 G1X and when this is made equivalent to G2 G1. So we can see that if X is entering, so output should be G2 G1 X. Next example is the block G is having an input X1 and this is entering a summing block so I have a plus sign over here but it is definitely this GX1 and here we have minus sign and X2 so here the output is GX1 minus X2 and we have the equivalent as X1 plus minus sign 1 by G this is X2 then G and then we have X1 G minus X2 so This is the G. So when G is entering, we should have this signal as G X1 minus X2 because this this G this one by G if X2 is nullified by this G so X2 will not have any coefficient other than 1 so this is G X1 minus X2 so both the diagrams are equivalent so next example the case is suppose I have x1 
x1 entering a block and x2 entering the same summing point but with a different sign so we have x1 minus x2 and this is entering the block g so we have g multiplied by x1 minus x2 so this is equivalent to the situation where i have x1 so i am shifting the point x2 over here like this so this is opposite to the situation where i have shifted the point x2 point x2 before the block so here i am shifting it after the block so when i am shifting the block this is shifting shifting before the block shifting what input this is shifting input after the block so after block g if you shift the input so this summing point will have only one input that is x1 then g then we have another summing point here this should be plus and because here x2 is forwarded so the effect of x2 will be lost because of the gain g is not multiplied so we have to send x2 with the gain g multiplied so here i am multiplying the gain g with x2 and because of the negative sign we have to give here negative sign so output should be the same so output should be gx1 minus x2 now is the case that you are the you are shifting the takeoff point from front of the block to back of the block so i am shifting the takeoff point g is there x is there so here definitely you have gx and the takeoff point i am getting gx so i want to shift the takeoff point from here to here so what will be the effect because i am shifting the takeoff point so the information of g will not be incorporated so i have to incorporate the information of g separately so here i have x here i have gx but this takeoff point is going here so the information of g will be lost so i have to give a block of g then i can take gx so this is how the takeoff point is modified similarly if i am taking the takeoff point from behind g to the front of g so here x i have a takeoff point which is giving x so after this it is gx so if i am shifting the takeoff point from behind g to the front of g so i have to divide by g so that the effect of g should be removed so i write it 1 by g then it becomes x so another two concepts we will explore these two concepts are first is you have the positive feedback closed loop path so we have already studied this concept all the um, revising here so if this is the summing point this is entering as plus this is also entering as plus so this is equivalent to g divided by 1 minus gh so if you can revise the previous video lecture you will see that we have already worked out this concept similarly there is 
summing point where x is entering and x1, x2 and feedback signal is negating at compared at the input. So here this is equal to g divided by 1 plus gh for negative feedback system. This is the situation, this is x1 and this is x2. So with the knowledge of these basic transformations and simplifications, let us try to reduce a big block into a simpler equivalent single block. So I am drawing a block which is relatively big in size. I have the R, the summing block, summing point, then G1, then G1, then I have another summing point where some signal is coming and compared over here. So then I have G2, I have G2, then you have another summing point, some signal is coming and added over here. Then you have G3, this is G3. And here we have some takeoff point, some signal is going out. And then I have G4, G4, and that is going to the output Y. So from Y, I'm getting takeoff point with feedback filter H1 that is going to this point. So the takeoff point is above is having a filter H2 and that is going to be compared at this point. And another one is the takeoff point of Y then that is going to filter H3 and that is compared at the input reference. So if this is the block diagram, let us see how we can simplify it. So to start with, the first step is to shift this point to this point. So because this is going ahead of this, so the information of G4 will be multiplied with H2. So to nullify it, we have to divide by G4. So let us it in an innovative way. So this is our diagram and we can remove certain points and make the things available for us. So this point will become This is H2, so this should be divided by G4, G4, then this block is shifted here. So H2 by G4, this block is shifted, the takeoff point is moved, and once the takeoff point is moved, we can see that this portion, this portion can be simplified. How it can be simplified? We have the blocks over here. 
these blocks are actually together with the summing point From this summing point, from this summing point, we can find that this is a positive feedback system. So if this is a positive feedback system, then we can modify this portion. So I can say that we can modify this portion and This portion was will be modified and removing this portion. And instead of this, I am putting an equivalent block over here, which should be the single block of the positive feedback system because the G3 and G4 will come together G3 and G4 will come together so G4 is output block so we will write like this and the positive feedback path will have H1 so definitely we will have minus G4 G3 H1 so this we can combine together like this And after this, the next we can combine this together. So, if we combine this together, we can find another block which is actually Let me delete this block and instead of this block we can write over here the block with G4, G4, G3, G2 divided by 1 minus G4, G3, H1 and this is a complete block at this point of time so you can say that this is the equivalent so again this complete thing is a negative feedback system so therefore we can find right and find out an equivalent of this block so we have to find out the equivalent of this block so i am i am removing this complete block and instead of this you can have after simplification of the blocks you can write i will expect students to solve it out and here to save some time i am solving it and writing the result directly so we have G4, G3, G2 divided by 1 minus G4, G3, H1. This will be the equivalent of the block, this, this one. I have made some mistakes in writing the values. It should have the equivalent of G4, G3, G2 divided by 1 minus G4, G3, H1 plus G3, G2, H2. 
this will be the complete block and from here I can see that these two blocks can be combined together so if we combine it together so we can write it in the form of because this is the output block and this is the input block so g1 will come to the right of this so we can write it like this let me remove the block then I can place G1 over here this G1 I can place over here so eventually this block is again a negative feedback block which can be written equivalently to this is equivalent to the block if you can take negative feedback system simplified by the formula g4 g3 g2 g1 so this should be divided by 1 minus g4 g3 h1 plus g3 g2 h2 plus g4 g3 g2 g1 g1 h3 so this is the equivalent block of the problem taken in the beginning so this has input r and this has output y all these functions are in s domain so we have dropped the s for simplicity but this problem you should solve at your own and try to find out that the equivalent transfer function is same as what you have deduced so similarly another problem i suggest you as homework and you can take it and solve it and send it to me to my email id let us consider the problem so i have the input r which is entering a comparator this and some negative signal is coming from other side then you have the g1 then you have another comparator and that is summing two signals and the output is going to another comparator that is comparing two signals then output is going to a block this gain is G2, its output is going to another block, this gain is G3, its output is going to another block, this gain is G4, and then comes the output Y, and between G3 and G4, there is a takeoff point from where to filter H2, I am sending a signal to this point for comparison. So, then the output can be taken to a block h1 by g2 to reach the summing point where it is summed up another component of output is taken to the filter h3 and which is compared with the main reference input so try to solve this block and find out the equivalent transfer function and send it to my email id you already know it is control systems faq at the rate gmail.com so this much is for today and in the next class we will see how to work with a single flow graph and machines gain formula.
Thank you for your patient listening.